had this car for oh, about a week now. So yeah, about when I got my car. This is what happened. Well, my license plate light was out. So I got pulled over for that. Then he also mentioned I was speeding. I'm like, speeding? Yeah, speeding. I'm like, I don't think I was speeding. I have this uh, little dash uh, heads up display on my Pontiac Grand Prix and it's all for the Grand Prix and none of the Grand Names or the Monobills, just the Grand Prix. And he's like, I'm speeding. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not gonna argue with the cop. If he says I'm speeding, I'm speeding. He said I was doing 37 in a 30. I'm like, what? I swear I was not speeding. Well, he says, uh, give me your license and registration. I said, officer, I just got this car on the 17th of October here. I don't have the registration. It hasn't came through the mail. So he takes my uh, license, and I said, yes, this car is insured. He's like, okay. So he goes back, and not even five minutes later, he comes back. He was like, here you go, have a nice day. And I'm thinking in my head, what? You pulled me over for a license plate light, which is now fixed, and uh, saying I was speeding, which I had no proof I was speeding. I could have got up and uh, went and asked him, let me see the gauge or radar gun or whatever that's called, you know? Let me see that and see if that's proof or not. I didn't. I was, it was cold out and I wanted to get going home. I was tired and it was 11 o'clock at night. No car was out on the road. So he was probably bored. Nothing to do. So that's when he says, let's pull this guy over. So you know, he pulled me over for that. Uh, gave me a warning, basically, for speeding, which I had no proof I was or not. You know, but I'm not going to argue. So, got home, mentioned it, mentioned it to my brother, and then, you know, told my parents the next day. You know, everybody knows I got in trouble already for a stupid light. But I guess that's more safety. He kept mentioning the light, too. He, did, he didn't really care about the speed, I guess. He kept saying, the light, the light, this the light, that the light, and I'm like, it's just a little light for a license plate and you're bringing it up all the time. Yeah, I guess he thought he was in need of uh, keep mentioning that. I mean, he was a nice cop, you know, not uh, rude, yelling, you know, he just said, hi sir, I don't remember his name or badge number. Um, I'm from, I'm with the Wabash Police Department. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, no, why? Well, you had your license plate light and you're speeding. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, right away when you apologize and you don't yell at the cop and he's in a good mood and you're in a good mood, that will make things a lot better than other people react to. Like, oh my God, I got pulled over. And you say that in front of the cop. That chance, you you might get a ticket or you might get your car towed or something, you know? You just got to be so nice to the guy, you know? And apologize. Right when I saw those lights, and you know, not even second guessing, oh, am I in trouble or not? So I pulled over right away. And that's another reason why he probably gave me a break, I guess. You pull over, you be nice, you know, they'll give you a break. That's what I like about small town. They know you. I don't even know the guy's name, no, but they know you. You know them. And they give you breaks. Now you live in a big town like the Twin Cities. Oh my god. I've seen you before, but I haven't seen you in like six months. What's your name? Yeah, driving record. And you're getting a ticket. You know? Population. I don't know, a lot of people there. But Wabash is only 2,500 or so. So it's not bad. You, you know? And uh, Stockholm is like 66 people. And Maiden Rocks, like 70 some people. You know, like, you walk down the street, you know everybody. And I mean, I know some people here, and uh, well, Nelson here too. Nelson and Wabasha. But I don't know them like my friends. You know, I've seen their faces and I've heard their names, and I say hi to a 
lot of people I don't even know why it's just nice it's just nice to say hi you know to a complete stranger and say hi how's your day going and, or thank you for holding that door you know it's, it's nice especially for the uh, elderly people you know they get older and they start to walk slower and you know if they're in front of you you know you're behind them I'm saying um, just take your time and wait till they move and don't say, oh, come on, hurry up. You know? Don't say that. That's rude right there. It's so rude. Um, so, yeah, he gave me a huge break, and I thanked him for it, and I went home. Uh, also, yesterday, I went to Winona to uh, drop off my dad's van. My uncle and grandpa were in an accident, I don't know, a couple days ago at least, and uh, they're fine, yeah, they're okay, but my mother talks and she's not, she's saying that they were in an accident, that's the first thing they said was, they're in an accident, well, are they okay, she didn't mention any of that until later. So she mentioned that later, probably like a few minutes after we were talking about this, and then she's like, oh, by the way, they're okay. You know, you should have said that first, because we were flipping and worried about them, you know? So she says, yeah, they're okay. Okay, and then the, their 2005 Ford SUV is basically totaled. It was a small impact crash. Anyway, um, man, it's cold here. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they were uh, coming off the bridge or some sort in Winona, because that's where they live now. And this idiot makes a left turn when he's not supposed to basically hits my grandpa's truck. Speeds probably slower than 20, but did enough damage to the vehicle that had to get it towed and is not drivable. Airbags went off, which is pretty good. Uh, they're both okay. That's the important thing. You can always replace a vehicle. So, uh, after, uh, talking to my mother about it and wondering which vehicle they should take and keep for a few weeks. I'm like, well, they can take my car, but, you know, in case they do some shopping or something, they're going to need a, a van of some sort. Plus, three doors out of the four only work. Three out of the four windows only work. And this has 178,000 miles on it. There's a train coming. And, you know, they might go somewhere else or, you know, and it might break down. Plus, there's no insurance in this vehicle right now. So they need insurance in case something breaks. So, um, yesterday I got up uh, pretty early with my brother and a friend and my sister. Choo choo, where's the train? There it is. And, uh, it's a freight. That's going to take forever. Anyway, um, we were going to go to a maze, but uh, we basically got lost. Good thing we left early. We got lost. We had to ask uh, two gas station attendants, one at Senex and one at Quick Trip, where this place is. They knew exactly what it was, where it's at. Well, we got lost, so we said, forget it, we'll just go to Winona and watch a movie. 
So we went to Winona and watched a movie. We went and watched uh, Chance of Cloudy Meatballs Tour, whatever that new show is called. Yeah, really funny. My friend Logan kept saying, Oh, this is stupid. Oh, why am I here? You know, she didn't like it. It's like, then, Logan, you didn't like it. Get the fuck out of here. Go, do something else while we watch it with Amy. She wanted to go watch uh, Grandpa or Bad Grandpa or something, and that's rated R. So we can't uh, watch that with Amy. So after uh, the movie, we went to Walmart, GameStop, did a few things there, and uh, oh, dude, you got your brights on back behind me. And uh, thank you. And let's see what else do we do. After that, we went home. Uh, ben took her home, and it was pretty fun, but uh, Logan was bitching. So. Other than that, it was a good day. Probably tomorrow. Because they came today, I don't know. 